Welcome to this edition of Train for Aptitude. Today we look at the fifth concept on the problems of streams and boats. Let us begin by reading the problem. A man takes twice as long to row a distance against a stream as to row the same distance in favor of the stream. The ratio of the speed of the boat in still water and the stream is our options are a 2 is to 1, b 3 is to 1, c 3 is to 2, d 4 is to 3. We could visualize the information given in the problem as shown. The assumption still remains the same, that is the stream and the boat move throughout the journey steadily. Also note that the journey distance both downstream and upstream is the same. The boat while moving downstream is assisted by the flow of water and so it moves faster. On the way upwards, it is hindered by the flow of water, so it moves slower. The time taken to go upstream is twice that of the time taken to go downstream. We attempt to solve the problem beginning with the information given to us. Let us assume that the speed of the boat is SB, the speed of the stream is SS, the distance travelled one way is D and the time as given to go downwards is two times the time to go upstream that is T DW is equal to 2 into T U. The next step is to calculate the equations or frame the equations for the time to move downwards that is t dw is equal to distance divided by the relative speed that we have found out. The last step is to begin with the information given that is the relation between the times to go upstream and downstream. Substitute them by the equations that we formed in step 1 and solve such that we find sb by ss. In this case it is 3 by 1. Let us try generalizing it. The question given to us says the time to move downstream is two times the time to move upstream. In a generic instance, we would assume it is a times the time to move upstream. The next step is pretty common in all problems that is relating to streams and boats. That is the equation for the time to move downstream and the time to move upstream. That is the distance one way divided by the effective speed downstream or upstream. To find the ratio that is asked, we begin with the information that is given that is t up is a times the time to go downstream that is t dw. We substitute for t up and t down with the equations that we have formed in step 1 and then solve such as to find the equation or the ratio that is asked in the scenario. Thank you for watching Train for Aptitude. Please encourage us by following our YouTube channel and liking our Facebook page. You could also check us on our website trainforaptitude.in